This is the medium size skin model. Here we can see the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. This is adipose tissue. Anything red would be a artery, an artery. Anything blue, a vein. This white thing is a sweat gland. This is a hair within a hair follicle with a sebaceous gland on either side. Over here, you can only see the hair follicle. The hair emerges here, and this is a sebaceous gland. This is an erector pili muscle attached to the hair follicle. An erector pili is a smooth muscle. Additionally, anything yellow that's like a line would be a nerve. This nerve is attached to a Meister's corpuscle. This nerve right here is it ends in a free nerve ending. And this one ends in what's called a Merkel's disc. Down here, we also have a Pacinian corpuscle, which would have a nerve coming off of it as well. The dermis is divided into the papillary section and the reticular section. These bumps are called the dermal papillae. And the epidermis in thick skin has five layers, stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basale. This video is on the medium sized skin model representing darker skin. So first thing you'll notice is there's hair coming out of the epidermis, which is the top five layers here, the dermis, and then the hypodermis down here. Anything yellow way down here would be adipose tissue. Anything yellow coursing through like this yellow line is a nerve. Now there's a giant hair within a hair follicle, and you'll see the hair follicle has multiple layers to it. Coming off the side is a smooth muscle called an erector pili muscle. This here is a sebaceous gland. I do want to note, five layers of the epidermis would indicate thick skin. We can see the stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basale. However, in thick skin, you do not have hair, so this model is technically anatomically incorrect. But I think they wanted to include everything in one model, which is why they did that. But thick skin does not have hair. What else is here? This big white thing is a sweat gland. Zooming in here, these are Meiser's corpuscles. This is a free nerve ending. And if we come way down here, we can see a Pacinian corpuscle. Red would be an artery, blue would be a vein. And notice within the dermis, you have the papillary layer versus the reticular layer. These bumps right here are the dermal papillae. Now, why is this darker or black? This model is actually representing darker skin or a dark skin tone. 
And what happens is within the stratum basale, there's these cells called melanocytes, which produce melanin or skin pigment and make this actually darker. And that's what makes different shades or tones of skin color are the melanocytes producing melanin within the skin.